AI is going to destroy reality. And I don't mean they're gonna shut down the safety protocols on the nuclear reactors or engage in cyber warfare against all of society, although that could definitely happen if we reach AGI, artificial general intelligence. No, I'm talking about reality being destroyed right now. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What? I'm talking about the reality that most of us spend most of our time in, the virtual world. I'm talking about when you look at your phone, when you watch something on your screen, it's no longer real. Today, I'm gonna show you five pieces of proof that will blow your mind and show you what's about to come in the next 18 months that will absolutely rip apart the fabric of trust in this society. But before we get into it, subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. You're gonna wanna pay attention over the next year because it's about to get crazy. Okay, number one. Politics is fake. And I don't mean it's fake in the way that it's always been fake, where they're just getting dueling factions to war against each other so they don't pay attention to what the elite are actually doing. What I mean is nobody's actually arguing. You might have seen that AI bots are already starting to respond to comments on Twitter and on Facebook. So you already have somebody responding that's not real. You're not real, man. But what you might not realize is the original article is not real either. And sure, a journalist could use AI to help them write the article, but here's what I mean. I know of a company who runs dozens and dozens of newsletters and news sites. And guess what niche? Politics. And here's what they do. They have a freelancer in the Philippines who looks at trending topics in the news. Then they fill that topic in on a spreadsheet and the rest of it happens automatically. So for example, they might tell the AI this, respond to this CNN article in the style of Steve Bannon or Donald Trump. And then this all happens automatically and it is an AI arguing against a position just based on the style of somebody else in the past. And so these warring factions that you see and these divergent opinions are not real already, but in the future, they're gonna be even less real. It's gonna be an AI that wrote the original article and an AI responding to it in a rebuttal article. And it's just back and forth, back and forth like this. And then we have the NPCs, the rest of us out here actually reading these articles and getting upset that somebody can have this viewpoint when it's not even real. It happened like that across a thousand different niches. Or how about this Twitter user? He says, my mom is a public school principal and all of the teachers are using ChatGPT to write lesson plans, tests, and quizzes, which the students will then answer with ChatGPT. Cool, cool. Number two, we have the voice that you're hearing isn't real and the person that you're watching is not really there. AI can now transform voices in real time with latency as low as 60 milliseconds. That means you cannot tell that the voice is being changed. Just watch this clip with Mark Zuckerberg. This is like the key question, right? Because the the thing that's different about virtual and hopefully augmented reality compared to all other forms of, of digital platforms before is this feeling of presence. Now imagine this gets 10,000 times better and everybody has access to it. All of a sudden the influencer you're watching or that presidential figure you see on your TV, it's not even their real voice. But it doesn't end there. It's not their real face either. There's a company called Wonder Dynamics that makes it as easy as drag and drop, like moving a file on your computer to put a whole different avatar over a person in a video. That means that any of us with an iPhone can now make CGI films. You ever wanted to film your own avatar? Now you can do it. You can also create your own characters in Mid Journey and overlay those on the actor in your film, whether that's you taking a selfie or one of your friends. Now this will get better and better and eventually happen in real time where you can just make yourself look like a completely different person, right? If you're a 25 year old female living in the Midwest, you can look like a 57 year old male living in India and nobody will be able to tell that that is not what's happening. Uh, is that better? So what we're gonna see here is a lot more people becoming influencers because you don't have to show your face or your voice anymore and starting personal brands under virtual avatars. So nobody's gonna get mad at you for your political opinion anymore and track you down and dox you because they won't know who you really are. Good news for those of us who are too scared to actually publish. Next, the event you're seeing didn't really happen. Now, Mid Journey 5 came out a little while back and the first thing that went viral was a photo of the Pope in a big puffy down jacket looking completely real. This was the first piece of media to go viral that really fooled people. But in that same weekend, we saw shots of Trump being arrested in Manhattan. 
didn't actually happen, and we saw historical accounts of an earthquake in Oregon. People standing in the rubble, an event that you won't find in the history books because it never occurred. And all of a sudden, the present is not only murky, but so is the past. You can start to rewrite history with images and video and historical accounts that never happened. The trust in society is about to be obliterated and you're not gonna be able to believe any narrative that you see. Next, we have the person you're talking to in real time, not just watching on your computer, is not really who you think it is. The first major scam we're seeing here is a new twist on an old trick. So scammers used to hack into an email address of somebody and then they would email that person's grandparents and say, hey, I'm in big trouble. Please send me money right now. Here's where you can wire it to. And this actually fooled people because people care about their grandchildren and they want to save them if time is of the essence. But now you can actually clone their voice and you can send a voicemail to, your, to their grandparents. And pretty soon you're going to be able to send a whole video asking for money. And you're going to get a video from your relative asking for money because they're in trouble and you're not going to know if it's real or not. Can you imagine the consequences of this across society? And lastly, we have the world you're living in isn't really happening. Now for now, we can be sure, maybe unless we're all living in a simulation, that this is physical reality. But there's rumors that Apple is releasing their AR headset soon. Now, why does generative AI matter for augmented reality and virtual reality? Well, we can now use AI to generate virtual worlds on demand in real time. So for example, let's say that you've been with your spouse for a long time and you want to mix it up. I'm not saying you're a bad person, but you're only human. Guess what? You can make your spouse look like your favorite supermodel. Or you can make your house look like a mansion. Or you can make that view of the neighbor's brick wall into a peaceful Malibu ocean breeze. Pretty soon, you're not going to be able to know what's real at all. The consequences of this, a low trust society where people no longer believe what they hear on the news. And honestly, there's an upside to that because right now people can be convinced of anything. And as soon as they figure out that almost nothing they're seeing is real, they're going to stop taking things at first glance. And then actually, could be better for society. People investigate a little more before having firmly held opinions. Let me know in the comments. I want to know, will this result in a low trust society? Will it rip apart everything that binds us together? Or do you think it could actually be good and free people up to levels of creative output that were never before possible? And don't forget, if you want to learn how to use all these tools to your benefit, whether you're a professional, a business owner, a freelancer, or really anybody living in society because we're all going to need it, then come join us in Money Toaster Monthly where we teach you how to use cutting-edge AI tools so you don't get left behind. That's all for today. See you on the next one.